everybody and welcome to week 10, 20. Goodness me, what a lot of um, virtual sessions we've had together. Shall we sing the hello song? Can you get down on your knees? Here it goes. Let's sing hello together. Let's sing hello together. Let's sing hello together. We're glad you joined us again today. Hello boys and girls, good to see you again. Here we are with another story. And this was Jesus talking to people about how God looks after us. And so he used what they call a parable. And a parable is a story that has a meaning that you can understand. So this parable was called the runaway sheep. And it was all about a shepherd who had a hundred sheep. Can you make the noise of a sheep? What does it say? Bah, bah. But one sheep, just one sheep, ran away and got lost. Didn't know where it was, got completely lost and, and lost the rest of his sheep friends. So the shepherd thought, gosh, I need to find that sheep. I can't let him just be lost on his own. So he went looking for him and he was looking everywhere for this sheep and he couldn't find him. But he kept on looking and looking and looking. And he just kept on looking high. He wouldn't be up there really, would he? But he could be on a mountain, I suppose. Or low. Was he down in that valley there? No. And he was looking all around. And he spent a long time looking for this runaway sheep. And eventually he found her. And pointed and said, there you are. Oh, I'm so pleased I found you. And he took the sheep home. And then they all threw a big party. Just to say, lovely that you're here. Lovely that we've welcomed you back. Because everybody is special. Everybody that is in this world is special to God. And if anybody gets lost or gets, gets, I don't know, gets confused about things, God knows and he loves them and he will always search them out and look for them. So that was a good one. So the runaway sheep got found and they all had a big party. I don't know what sheep eat when they have a party, do you? Just extra grass, I should think. But lovely. Lovely, lovely story. Right. See you again soon. Bye bye. Bye. Hello, everybody. Good to see you. Last week, I told you that somebody, no, it's Humpty Dumpty, hadn't arrived, didn't I? Well, on Thursday, he did arrive at my house. And, well, can you see him, look? He don't look like Humpty Dumpty at all, does he? And when he came, he was a bit, well, he needed a bath. So he's had a bath. But what are we going to do with him to make him look like Humpty Dumpty again? Shall I show you? What's that? A toilet roll. Well, we're going to put him over the top of our toilet roll. And then see if he looks like Humpty Dumpty. Do you think he will? You see, we know that Humpty Dumpty was an egg, wouldn't he? And all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put him together again. But there we are. We've made our Humpty Dumpty and we've put him all together again. So now we're ready to start our next bit. Now pop him up here so he can see what's going on. I hope he can sit still. Today Val's story was all about a little lamb and he got lost, didn't he? 
so you can see what we're going to make today and I will show you how to make a lovely lamb. First of all, you need a card. Can you see the edge there? You need to cut. I've already cut one out, but you can see. And the top bit, must you mustn't cut through that bit because if you do, it won't stand up. But you can get a grown-up to help you cut round your card and you can see my Christmas card here, what I've done. And I, you can give him some nice black legs and feet and give him an eye and an eye that side. And then you can paint him all over with the glue, all over. And then with the cotton wool buds, take bits of this off and stick them all over him. And then, and then you turn him over and you do the other side and you will have a little lamb or a sheep, just like I did. And that's our sheep. But we've got a bit more to craft to do today. So are we ready to have a look and see what we're going to do? Let's clear these away. Now, let me introduce to you Wooly. And Wooly is just a little lamb. And we're going to pretend our sheep that we've made is his mum. And we're going to put him real close because his mum is going to tell him because he's now going to go out in the field to eat the nice grass and to have fun. And he likes to skip and he likes to jump. And his mum said to him, Now, Wooly, listen. You must not eat the yellow flowers that are in the grass. They're not buttercups. They're, they're a weed and that will make you have a tummy ache. So don't eat them. And don't jump where the brambles are, else you'll get a thorn in your toots or in, even in your nose. So don't go there. Now, Woolly, what do you think he did? Yes, rub your tummy. He ate the yellow flower, that weed, and he got a tummy ache. And he also jumped up too high and he got a thorn. In his nose. So Wooly was not very happy, was he? So we're coming back in the Bible, and here's my Bible, and it tells me in there that Jesus said for children to obey their mums and dads, and then they would be very happy. And if they didn't, we don't want to be like Wooly, do we? Because if we're like Wooly, we won't be very happy. And we want to make our mums and dads happy, don't we? So that is what we finished now. And now we're going to play a game. Do you like playing games? Because Wooly does. And Wooly likes playing hide and seek. Now you can play this game at home, but what you have to collect you know, there's a yoghurt pot, all washed up. And I've made several of those, got several. And then I put a tree on it. I wonder if you can tell me what that tree is. Can you see the star on top? Oh, you've guessed right. It's a Christmas tree. We've got another tree. What's on there? Smiley faces. I've never seen the smiley face one, have you? No. And now comes a fairy tree. Oh, and a butterfly bush. Now, I've seen the butterfly bush because I've got one in my garden. And the butterflies come because they like it. And then our last one is a rainbow. Can we see all of those? We can. Good. Now we're going to play the game. And Wooly is going to hide. I wonder which one he's going to hide in. Now, you'll see where I hide him or where he goes, won't you? So can you put your hands over your eyes, like that? And no peeping, and then I'll hide him. And we have our friend, 
Where is he? Oh, come on, Rudolph, we need you to come and play. And Rudolph is going to see if he can guess where he is. And I wonder which one, which one do you think he's in? You think it's, you think it's the tree? Shall we have a look under the tree? Have a look. No, it's not there. Listen, watch carefully and see who's going to say where we should look next. Are we there? Oh, yes, 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 look, that, that little boy says it's under the blo it's under the butterfly tree. Let's look under there. No, it's not there. They're not, it, they're not doing very well, what, um, Rudolph, are they? So where shall we go next? This one. What's this one? This one's a rainbow, is it? Oh, they've got it right. Well done. Give yourself a big clap. Can you see how you play the game? Now guess what? Rudolph wants to find it this time, so he's got to hide his eyes. And you will know where we're going to put it, because you will see. And then you can tell him which one, we can see which one he's going to, which one shall we put it under? I can't hear you. You have to shout a bit louder. Under the, okay. I mustn't say, because he'll hear, won't he? There he is. I'll move him around. Then he won't know where he is, will he? Right, Rudolph. Which one is he going to be under? Which one do you think he should look under? Well, you know where he is, don't you? So, I wonder what, which one he's going to have. I can't see. Can you see which one? The rainbow one. You want the rainbow one? No, it's not there. The Christmas tree. Has he got it right this time, do you think? Shout if you think he has. Because you know. He ought to look under that one, did he? Yeah, let's have a look. Oh, he's got it right. Well done. Well done. So now you can see how to play that game. And all you need to collect is your hot pots. And you can put whatever you like in front of them. I've chosen trees, but you might like to put flowers. Or you might like, well, what else could you put? Animals, birds, whatever you like to do. So now we're going to say bye-bye to everybody, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Well, haven't you had a lot to think about this morning already? You've had the story from Val about the lost sheep, haven't you? We've had the lovely craft from Kathleen, uh, where you can make a sheep with cotton wool. Kathleen then gave us some more thoughts about listening carefully uh, to what our grown-ups are telling us to do, and making sure that we do what they tell us to do. And then we've had a game um, about hiding and finding your sheep again. And I did just think, in case you don't have yoghurt pots, that game would work exactly the same, wouldn't it, with, um, I'm sure a lot of you have got stacking cups at home. You could hide something. It doesn't even have to be a sheep, does it? You could hide any object small ball or even a coin, I don't know, anything under the stacking cups and that game would work the same. And since you've had so much this morning already, I'm going to do just one very quick song and it's with my daughter's very special bear. Um, this is her very special bear and she always puts her dressing gown on and she comes down in the morning um, in the same way that my daughter does. So here she is, so it's a song about losing and finding your bear. So if you've got a toy, you could go grab your toy, and what we're going to do is we're going to hide our toy behind our hats so that we can see where we are. Here we go. Where is Bear? Where is Bear? Where? Where? Where is Bear? No, not completely. Where is Bear? There is Bear. There is Bear. Hello. Hello, hello. Should we go again? Should we go one more time? So, where is Bear? Where is Bear? Where, where, where is Bear? Where's Bear gone? There is Bear. There is Bear. Hello, hello, hello. Fab, hope you have fun with that one. Hope you play the game. Lots of hiding and finding. 
Uh, have lots of fun. Let's sing goodbye. Let's have our knees. Here goes. Let's sing goodbye together. Let's sing goodbye together. Let's sing goodbye together. We're glad you joined us today. Bye bye.